Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, welcome. So we're here today with Season 2, Episode 3 of The Expanse, and quite, 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 quite frankly, I should be a lot more pissed off about the ending of last episode, because Miller, he just ruined it. We were about to get some answers, we were about to get, just get, like, like every single question that you may have had in the show, every single question that you could have had in the show, well, not every single question, because obviously now we have the overarching um, mystery plot, I guess if you want to call it that, of like, is there extraterrestrial life or so on and so forth, but like, the overarching Earth plot, I guess, could have been resolved after last episode, really, and no. Before we ever got, like, like if I was him, like, before I would have killed that dude, I would have just been like, you know what, tell us all the names, and once he said that, that's when I would have killed him. I know that's cruel and whatnot, but that's what I would have done personally, because knowledge and information is often more superior than anything else in the world, and quite frankly, Miller, he did it wrong. He did it wrong, he was led by emotions, which, you know, is understandable, but at the end of the day, you need to do, you, you need to have a cooler head. He used to be in a private police force, you need to have a cooler head in my opinion, and he doesn't. He doesn't, and that's a shame. That's a really, really, really big shame, but hey, it is what it is as well. You know, ultimately we can't change what happened at the end of the last episode, so we just kind of move forward. Now, the, pretty much the, primar uh, the episode was primarily focused on, you know, in invading, and then um, get getting the, in well, not, actually no, not getting the information, but getting some information, with like the Earth plot um, basically be just being focused on the former commander of the army being um, released, and us finding out a little bit more about Fred Johnson, the butcher, you know, that, you know, he wasn't aware of anything that, he wasn't aware of the situation, but he still never blamed anyone, and he still just kind of moved forward with it, you know, so, we got a little bit of like the characters, very interesting parts about the characters, and so I'm intrigued to see like what we're gonna see in episode three. Now I was told with episode four and five that I definitely need to watch it together, so we'll do we'll do we'll probably do that next week or so. Um, but episode three, let's get started. I would say so. Let's hop right in. Look at that. That's so cool. That is truly cool. It's like you always said. Earth must come first. Sure, fam. <laughs> sure, mate. Sure. I hear ya. I don't listen to ya. I see, but I don't observe. I hear, but I don't listen. That's what's happening here right now. Uh, don't. Nobody. Murder him. Interrogate him. Yeah. Leave him here. Hey! I don't want him anywhere near the prisoners. Who are you? Get these people to hold them. Who, who, who do you think you are? Honestly, they are the boss, and Miller fucked up. Hey, hey, there's something you need to get off your chest there. I understand your frustration, Holden. I understand your frustration. That was a stupid move. Truly stupid move. This shit is permanent. Captain doesn't want you around anymore. Yep. Yeah. You need to slow down. We don't want you around either. Mm. <sighs> Frustrating. For what it's worth, I get it. They they were with your girl and you shot him. They were just bonding. No. I didn't do that. Just the guy I needed to go down. Ah, uh, even it's worse. Like it's a little jumpy when you kill people without talking it over first. Yeah, I'm sure you would have asked for permission. Nope. Too. Nope. Well, here's the thing. I haven't actually killed. You and me, we're a lot alike. He's actually killed anyone yet, has he? Anyone's around. He hasn't. Ha has he? But the captain. With a man who casually murdered countless people, uh, he was a threat to all human life. You could have. Why Miller shot him? You could have the right to make that decision. But you do. No, we're a team, squad. You gotta find the information. That was the key part. I don't care about him as a person. You could have shot him afterwards. I don't care. But information is more valuable than gold, diamond, or silver. That's my tip. Time to go home. All right. Okay. Okay. Where's the house? Ooh, you electric. I like you. You wouldn't know what to do. You're gonna need that up for your heart after Diogo. <laughs> Oh my, that's actually a good line. That's actually a good line. I'm, I'm writing that down on my endless book of lines I'll never use. 
including the one destroyed on Phoebe. His brain is fried. Get in there. But that Frodon, obviously, that's the thing that they had were in, in the flashback with Julia Mao blood already. Oh, he was like, yo, he's speaking my language right now. You're speaking my language right now. Interrogation. Try this one. Crafty. Go fetch. Who do you think you are? I. I. I saw that cut. Yeah, of course. They all. She's the most violent one, but she's the, she was actually the calmest one there. Oh, Amos is interrogating him. I don't know why he's holding us there. You were a member of a team studying arrows. I'm a specialist. Nanoinformatics. Even in the future, you can't get away. Even in the future, you can't get away from bad music. are coming off the arrows. Hottest beats maker on Tycho. Mad OBA pirate too. She jacked a cryptid data stream off the station we kill, but it come from Eros. That's people dying, isn't it? Because nobody's on Eros anymore. Uh, Those belters you're jamming to? That's like dead. Yeah. Dying. Yeah. Worse. Not that simple, but it's not complicated either. It's non-invasive. So someone waves a magnet on well. the right side of my head and. Suddenly, I can watch a hundred thousand people die in agony and not give a shit. That's cool. The prisoners. It's been done to all of them. That's cool. Security guards on that station were armed with riot bullets. That is actually cool. From murdering each other. Now you and your team will carry out your orders with pride and dedication, befitting soldiers. Good. Please be stricter. Yes, sir. Dismissed. Like she's a spoiled brat to the core. She's gonna. Go on her own and do something, and I just can't stand it. I can't stand it. I can't stand people like that. It, it, it infuriates me. Yeah, to be totally honest with you, lot. Is this what I hope it is? Fred Johnson it's communication. Fred Johnson. Yes. So to protect myself, because you were right. There are people in my government who are willing to take us to the brink of annihilation. For reasons that I still cannot fathom. Mm -hmm. But like you, I want to stop this war. Yeah. So now, I'm asking you... Look at him, he's like, what's going on here? Evidence. Anything I can use to turn the guns of Earth and Mars away from each other before it's too late. That friggin' close. Left in your hands. That friggin' close. The time to play them is now. Oh. <sighs> I never thought I'd see the day. Yeah, he's shocked. Okay, you're done for. Goodbye. Amos is coming in. If the only thing you fear is your life, well, it's easy. If the only thing you have empathy for is yourself. I was on Eros. I saw Julie Mao, and there was a puddle. Blue brown slime in the center of the bed and it smeared down across the floor uh, don't she show me that again like don't animal. show me that again metabolic and she was sitting on the shower floor that is just blue bar nah stop showing me that man just stop showing me that Beautifully dead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not dead. Becoming. Please! Tell me! What was it doing? So it's becoming alive. That was all. Make, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes a ton of sense, of course. We know that, like, the energy source and whatnot, that, that, that was, you know. That was something. I don't know what to describe. That, that that was key. That was you know, giving it a reaction. But for it to like become alive, or for, for it to generate more like tap into that power and then replicate or or, or originate from it. That's interesting. The power was shut down when we arrived. The proto molecule was frozen around the reactor core. Starving. Did you turn the power back on? No. Nope. Started moving. 
We should have to me. Is there anything more that I could see? We nuked the ship and everything on it. <sighs> how, how, how could you? But still going strong on Eros. How could you do that to the proto molecule? How did you get to so many places and come out alive? The more biomass you feed it, the faster it learns, the more it changes. So you fed it, Eros. We, we saw that. A whole station of 100,000 people. Here is on only the air that you bring in with you. Loss tolerances are stricter than normal. Our contractors were sometimes less than cooperative. Yeah, really Generator really somehow <laughs> recycle it. Entire families on a journey that their grandchildren wouldn't see the end of was inhuman. Yeah. Why well, I seen inhuman and this isn't it. This ain't it. Yeah, this ain't it. This is our temple. You're welcome here. Yeah, well, thank you very we much. Offer you salvation. Boy, it sounds like just what I need. After after seeing everything that happened in Eros, this is this is paradise. What's that? It's one of the data streams that Dresden was collecting. <laughs> Start to speak. Sauron. The universe just kissed me. Did, did you just say Sauron? People talking, not people. Pulses. Building what? We're going to find out. Oh shit. Alright. Here's the question. If you don't know whether life form is dangerous or not, should you where do you where do you side? What the fuck is this? It's my job to protect them. So many people lived. Twenty five people because I made that choice. I get it. There's no point. That one person that you Next time I'm gonna save them all. Alright, well, yo, let let, let him in. Right from the top. Let him be dedicated. But like, you know, I, I get it. It's that, that one person that you kinda connected with, you know, who he was like, you, 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 you need to watch it. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I don't trust her. I feel like she's about to murder him or something. I just got such a hate. Uh oh. Because they've got such a hate boner for Earth. Maybe I'm wrong. I will. I seem to be wrong. Alright, they're a group. Didn't kill him because he's crazy. Mm hmm. I killed him because he was making sense. Yeah. Shoot. I, 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 I. Any idea how we can take out a whole <laughs> Still, still a secret move. Yeah. That. So, so you're gonna use the no, the Nove? No, I can't say it. I can't say the name. Nove. Is that where the Mormon plot is coming in? Don't please. Is that where the Norman plot, not, not the Norman, the Mormon plot is gonna come in? Uh, like, what, 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 could, what, what could you possibly use the? Again, I can't, I can't say, I can't say it. All right, the, the Nove, 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 the Nove. All right, is that what you're gonna use that for? I thought that's gonna be used like go to outer space and then you ultimately see where the proto molecule came from but that's obviously not the case here so what is the case here um I, I, what could he possibly use that for keep it in a contained environment i don't know i don't even know whether nuking it would help right now because obviously previously with, with like the remnants of um with the remnants that we saw on the Anubis, the Anubis, right? Um, they, 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 they just, they, they just straight up, they just, you know, blasted it. They, they just blasted it. Quite literally, they just blasted it. All right. But now that it's at this stage, would that even do anything, or would it just absorb the radiation, the the energy that comes from it being attacked? I'm not sure. 
But we have signals coming out. Obviously, you know, they're not sure whether it's people that are making the signal or whether it's something else. You know, I might, the thing that we saw at the end of season one, that is obviously my guess. It, it was in the shape of a human, but it was obviously clearly a life. And I want to know where we're going from here. I know it sounds stupid, but I want to. I just want to know what's next. And like the best, the best way to find out, obviously, is to watch more, which obviously I'm gonna do. Not today, probably tomorrow. I'll probably watch three or four episodes in the grand scheme of things, because I, I just want to. Honestly, 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 I just want to binge. And hopefully, I can have some time this week to like just binge a few episodes, three, four, five episodes, maybe finish season two this week. Um, likely won't be the case, obviously, but but I, I'm just saying, if I had some time, I would definitely do that. Cause like, I'm I'm trying to. I'm 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 just. Ah. I, I want answers. I want answers. I think that's what it boils down to. I want answers. As like every time we're close to getting answers. We just get the night. We almost have more questions than answers. It's like two steps forward and then one step backwards. In this case, it's not two steps forward, one step backwards. In this case, it's two well, two, two more questions, one answer. And it's just frustrating. This episode was great, actually. This episode was truly great. Like, like this episode, I might actually... I was going to say this halfway through the episode, but I wasn't sure. I'm, and I'm still not sure whether I'm being reactive right now in saying that, or whether I'm actually, you know, taking all the episodes into account. But I feel like this might be my favorite episode of the whole uh, of the whole show. And the reason why I'm saying that is because this episode, to me, it might not have been. Granted, I don't know how the the reaction was because I, I don't know. I, I basically just say what I want and I do what I want. Basically, so eh, it is what it is. If I'm being totally silent, that's just the way I am. But this episode, the dialogue was good, but more so, yeah, because the, the dialogue is usually acted very well. Like, like usually, like like the the the, the show has like very strong actors. So this so. The dialogue is usually always acted very, very well, but in this case, I, I was just so intrigued by the dialogue. I was so, so fascinated by the dialogue. I almost didn't like focus on the actors and everything. I, 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 would, I was just, like looking at every single word, just being like, "Come on, tell me more, tell me more." So, obviously, they, they, they don't tell you everything that you want to know, but they tell you enough where you're like, "Okay, I know a tiny little bit more. I know 0.1 percent more." But to reach that full 100%, it's still, still, still a long way. It's still a long way, alright? It's a thousand times 0 0.1, so in a thousand episodes, we'll probably finally get to that 100% knowledge that I'm seeking. But hey, but hey, but hey, but hey. Um, I mean, the majority of plot was obviously focused on Miller, Holden, uh, and obviously Fred Johnson as well. Fred Johnson, actually, he might be in danger now, considering that, you know, the OPA will be after him. Ever, considering that he talked with Avasarala. I was, I, was so, I was so happy to see his reaction to, like, Avasarala, you know, contacting him with everything. Because, you know, obviously, this, this, this is the person that has basically been thrown under the bus, right? He's been basically thrown under the bus by the government and everything, by the Earth government. And now to have, like, someone in such a position reach out to you and be like, yo, I believe you. I think what you're saying is true. There are people in my government who are dangerous. Then we also had that little Mars conflict, you know, on a Martian uh, ship. Mars isn't retaliating. That's, that's first of all, that's a, that's a good, that's good. But they are, they are so friggin' war hungry. Battle hungry, like you know. The thing is, right? When you join the army, I've never joined the army. Granted, all right. So, so I can't speak from personal experience. But when you join the army, right? From everything that I've read, and everything that I've seen, and everything that I've heard, right? Basically, what they do is they break your spirit. 
they break your spirit and they break your body they break your body to build it up and they break your spirit to build it up too so that you follow orders no matter the no matter your personal misgrievances no matter your personal situations no matter your personal circumstances you will follow orders because that's what's been drilled into you they are not listening they are not like like she is basically just at every point, at every, at every opportunity, she is just disobeying. She is just reckless. She. Ugh. I was so happy when we got to the Mar the Martian plot. Well, when we've got characters from the Martian side to follow, I have to say though, I respect her. I respect all of them at the end for yeah, you know, kind of just like being yeah, you know what, we were wrong. Basically, like, we were wrong. That's basically what it boiled down to. Like we were wrong, you know. You may be from Earth, but you are a Martian just like us. You know, yeah, you're, you're one of us. I I respect them for that at the end. I, I wasn't sure where that scene at the end was gonna go to, where, where it's gonna lead to like them just being like, "Nah, you're not one of us," eh? You know. But no, it was a case of like, "No, you, you are one of us." You know. Apologies. Uh, you know. Obviously, if you had said anything, we would have been in trouble. But no, you know, we're a team. We're the three, we're not, well, not the three musketeers, but like we're, we're the musketeer squad, all right? So we're all in this together. We're all having some fun. We're all, you know, fighting. Not fighting. You know, they're not fighting. Good. They're not fighting. You know, I, I don't want them to rush into war. I know, like, that, that would probably be very exciting and whatnot. The, the action would be very high and it would be just, you know, fun and so on and so on. Pretty much like episode two of this season. But honestly, but this show... I'm more intrigued with like the dialogue and and, and the personal inner conflicts and um, also the conflicts with uh, the, the outer conflicts because obviously the, with the, we have a fleshed out world. There are still obviously many mysteries that we have, you know, you know, many answers that I seek. But in the broad sense of things, we have a fleshed out world. We know where characters stand. We know characters' motivations at this point, and we know sort of like the motivations of different factions. So to have a fleshed out world and to have mature themes, you need to act mature, which is why you know I don't want it to be an actual war because I feel like every every war, every situation can be sorted out with dialogue, and so far we've had obviously a lot of great, fantastic dialogue, so I'm hoping there's going to be more and more and more and more. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. Um, that's all I've got to say. We're off to Eros. Off to Eros. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Obviously, what's gonna happen next? We'll see what happens next. We'll see what happens next. I'm trying to like think of like what what they could possibly use the Nave for, for, but I'm not sure. It's like a atmosphere and. Uh, Atmosphere, oxygen, and everything. But what could you possibly use that for? You're just gonna like put the thing in there and then like just let it grow in power? I don't think so. Really, just like arrows as a whole station. What are you gonna do with a whole station? Like, like, like are you just gonna <laughs> sound stupid? But are you just gonna put like arrows or all the infected? Into the station, into the lever, and then just send it off into a distant space. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All right, I'm actually not sure. I'm, I let, I, I'll be surprised. I'll let myself be surprised because I can't think of anything right now. Maybe I'll connect the dots much better because I, I, I'm not getting what Miller is getting at. But hey, but hey, but hey, but hey, but hey, but hey, folksy, 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 folks. We'll see. We'll see. Regardless, I'll see you all in the next one, everyone. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day. Peace out. Bye. And as I said, I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna be doing 204 and 205 together. Uh, well, I'm gonna recording. I'm gonna be watching it together. Um, that's the key word. Here, because I was told I need to watch it together because it kind of like aired on the same day or something. So I'll be doing that in the future. Um, but yeah, I will see you all in the next one, everyone. Until then, have a nice day. Peace out and bye. Hey everybody, if you like this video, please be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, be sure to check out Patreon to get one week early access as well as full length. But until next time everybody, peace out and have a nice day.